Okay, for those of you, hello on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and uh, Rumble. Uh, we are live there, I believe. Or did I put? I didn't. Oh, I didn't put Rumble on there. Damn. Okay, hello for those of you on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and for, I didn't know. I, that's kind of strange. It didn't, doesn't show Rumble on here. That's really, really weird, because it should. Put, it's supposed to. But okay. But anyway, uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the presentation. Thanks for thanks for being here on this uh, beautiful, beautiful evening, wherever you are in this world. Um, I appreciate uh, you guys just spending some time with us and on this uh, Saturday. Uh, so let me just, let's just get this out of the way. Trolls on TikTok, go away. Seriously, go away. I, I'm not in the mood. To, 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 I'm just not. Seriously, just go away. Just, you know, it's just, it, I don't know. It, 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 it's so annoying. They're, they're, they're just constant. It's like cockroaches. They're just, they just keep coming from everywhere. You know what I mean? They're just... I don't know. It gets, it, it gets old. It really does get old. So here's the deal. If you don't like me, I don't give a damn. If you don't like the fact that I belong to the United States, okay, I don't give a damn. If you don't like me because I have blonde hair, I don't care. Uh, so just go away. You know, uh, is it okay? You know, let, let me just, you know what the hell with it. 
sub chat only. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not putting up with the bull. I'm not going to put up with this bullshit tonight. I'm just not. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood tonight. So, so uh, if you're not a subscriber, you're not going to be able to chat tonight. The rest of the trolls go to hell. I mean, seriously, I've, I've just I've had enough. I've had enough. Uh, they're just. I wish I could take my collar off sometimes and tell you exactly what I think. Uh, but, but, but we have to pray for those who clearly are demonically possessed. Uh, because truly, only, uh, troll, only uh, people who do this, people who troll, they have to clearly have some mental issue uh, going on with them. There, there's no question there's mental illness. Uh, yeah, but see, the, the, here's the, and I, pre, I understand, don't let them get to you, don't go, okay, but see, here's the, here's what you don't see. What you don't see are the constant derogatory comments about hurting children, about being fake, about being phony, uh, about all this other stuff. You don't see this. I see it constantly. Every day, every single day, every single live, I see it every time, constant. Uh, even the moderators see it. And it, it just gets to a point where you're just like, you know what? Sometimes, honest to God, sometimes it just isn't worth going online. So it's just not. Sometimes it's just not worth going online. And uh, because it, it, the, the constant barrage of hate so you guys see just a little bit of it, uh, but this is why I don't look at my comments on TikTok. I just don't. So when I do a video, uh, I don't look at the comments very rarely because I used to, and it, it got so bad that I that it was starting to take a, 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 an effect on my own mental health because it was so ugly. It was truly so ugly, the messages, the comments. Vicious. I mean, truly vicious. So it just got to a point where uh, I just said, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not looking at the comments anymore uh, because it just, it, it was just, it, the, it's a cancer. It is a cancer in, in society. Truly, really, these people are, they are. And I will tell you this, uh, the people who troll, it will be a cold day in hell before you reach heaven. Plain and simple. And I don't care who likes to hear that. Or I, I don't care. It will be a cold day in hell before you reach heaven if you continue this behavior. Because while you think it's cute and funny, there will be consequences. Because I think that when we are, when we pass away, we're going to see all the things that we've done in, in this life. All the things. And God is going to ask you, why were you so vicious? Oh, because it was just funny. It was just online. I didn't mean it. And then you're going to experience triple what you cause people online. So don't be surprised if God says, I know you're not. But that's the, that's the way it goes. Uh, some people, that's the way it is. Yeah, seriously, I just started and already the trolls came out. It's like it's cancer. It is a cancer. And... Um, this is this is the, and, and I will tell you, TikTok is the TikTok is honest to God. As far as the trolls, TikTok is the worst. Because I have on Facebook, I have YouTube, I have Twitter, I have Rumble, I have Spreaker. I don't have that problem. So. Yep, I agree. Yeah, I agree, Marty. Yeah. So for those of you, if you want to chat, you have to subscribe and don't send me a message. Well, I don't like the fact that you put subscriber on. You're a fake. Oh, you know what? Shut up. Seriously, shut up. Uh, I do it because I don't, I don't want to deal with the trolls and I'm not in the mood today. I'm just not in the mood for the bullshit today. Just not. So, and, and don't sit there and tell me, oh, you can't cuss. I'll cuss what I want to and I'll cuss what I, my mom and my daddy, you, you ain't my mama, you ain't my daddy. So I'll tell you exactly what I think and I don't really give a damn if you like it or not, especially if you're a troll. If you're a troll, you know what? Go away. Yeah, I am not in the mood. You can tell that I am not in a mood today. Uh, at all. I'm not going to play games, so uh, we're just not. And by the way, I know another person who's not going to play games right now. I agree, Cindy. Uh, TikTok has become cancerous with trolls. TikTok, you better start fixing the troll issue. That's all I got to say. You better start fixing. 
Yes, she was. And Miss Miss Wilma has uh Miss Wilma has some thoughts on trolls, don't you, Miss Wilma? Trolls, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Uh oh, trolls, you're in trouble Please. now. Not for me, uh -oh. but for yourself. You get Jesus into your life because if you don't, you will burn where he lives. And that will make the devil happy. That's not gonna make Jesus happy. So listen carefully. If you get Jesus into your life very fast, because if you don't, it's going to be too late, and the devil will win. Nobody wants the devil to win, That's because right. people burn where he lives, and you will burn the rest of your entire life. It's nothing funny to be mean. The, the Ten Commandments is very easy. Just listen to your heart. Don't listen to... Stop listening to the devil. That's what he's wanting you to do. Because it, don't do it for me. Don't do it. Do it for yourself. You don't want to burn. Think of it like if you slam a door or burn yourself on a match or something. Your whole body's going to burn the rest of your life. You're not. There's not going to be ice water down there. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Don't let the devil win. Put Jesus into your heart. If you want to accept Jesus in your heart, he's ready. He is ready to be listening for you to come into his heart. There you go. There you go. And, and folks, for, for those of you, first of all, let me just get the, the, the business aspect of it. If you want to go to my website, bishopjameslong.com, bishopjameslong.com. If you want to go to the church's website, usocc.org. The reason is I, I talk about this is not I, really honestly, I, I don't give a damn what the trolls think about me. I have dealt with this for two decades, folks. Please understand. I have a very thick skin. So and, and when it comes to slander, because there's one individual on YouTube who is making slanderous comments, I've, I'm actually going to. And if you're watching, I'm actually going to forward the information on to the attorney uh, because there are some really slanderous comments that are actually illegal. So it doesn't uh, you, you can't just say whatever you want to against someone that's called it's slander. It's defamation. So I, I have, unfortunately, I'm going to have to deal with that crap again. But this is stuff that I've dealt with for two decades, now, even having death threats death threats. Now, here's what's interesting. Uh, just a minute ago, when I was really ticked off about the trolls, I, I, and see, the, the trolls aren't very smart. They really aren't very smart. So I, I, I want to make a point. This is the point. When I was really ticked off and I was telling the trolls to go to hell, we had almost 350 people in TikTok. 350, just like that. As soon as I, I started... I started going off and just letting them have it 350. And then after everything just kind of calmed down, we went from 350 now to 240. You see, this is these, that's what these people do. Uh, but they're, they're, they're not very bright. They can't figure out why I was doing that because they feed on that type of negativity. You see, they feed on it. They love it. So when they see, uh, again, they're not bright, but when they see a host become really angry and they see that they're getting under their skin, all of a sudden the, 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 the views just skyrocket because they love it. They enjoy it. That is, that is sadistic. That is sadistic. That's sadism. That's, that is a mental illness. So uh, uh, honestly, folks, here's, here's the truth is I really don't care what they think. I truly, it, it, they don't bother me. They do not bother me. But they're not very bright to figure out that they just went right into that trap. They they <laughs> they fell right into it, and they made my point. So you see, the trolls—that's what they do. Uh, they love it. They love the the. Uh, they love knowing that they get under your skin. They love knowing that they bother you, and the more it bothers you, the more excited they get. So trolls. You're not very bright. So, so again, folks, I'm not angry. I'm not mad. Uh, I'm, I'm, tr <laughs> I'm truly not mad. I am, I'm, I'm, we're all good. But the tr this is a perfect example of how stupid the trolls are. I'm mean, sorry. Sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, Miss Wilma. How you doing? How you doing, girl? Well, hello, Bishop. Now, Miss Miss Long is was uh, Miss Wilma's man. I said Miss Wilma's mad. Miss Wilma's ready to beat him up. Yeah, I just I don't want to see nobody burn because you know 
it, it's very simple to accept Jesus in your life. But yeah, you know, when somebody's miserable, they got to bring other people down with them. They're not happy. That's fine. Don't bring other people down. Well, I don't feel good. I, you know, I, I'm going through this or I'm going through that. That's fine. But talk to people about it. But don't bring somebody down because you don't have a good life or whatever's going on. You need to accept God, and then you know to let Him help you. But see, this, but but, no, but, it, goes, got, but it goes, but it goes. They got to get deeper and deeper. Yeah, but but it goes more than that, Miss Wilma. What it is is these people truly enjoy. They really this is, and this is how sick they are. They truly enjoy watching someone get upset and get angry and get frustrated and get flustered. And they enjoy it. That is sick. I mean, I'm sorry. That is sick. Anybody who enjoys watching another person uh, go through uh, stress and anxiety and emotional pain, anybody who enjoys watching that, truly, honest to God, needs mental health immediately because that's not normal. That's not normal behavior to enjoy watching someone suffer. So when you do enjoy it, that is a sign of a mental illness because that's called sadistic. That's sadism. You actually get excited when someone else is going through extreme trauma. Uh, but that, that's, uh, it's sad. It's sad. But, you know, here's the deal, Miss Wilma. We know that if we sick Miss Wilma on them, they are in trouble. I just, I just want them to turn their hearts around. They're not going to. Like Jesus, not, they, when, like Jesus said about Judas, David, better off if they hadn't been born. Whoa, Miss Wilma, she ain't playing. Now look, see now look, look, look. Now notice the numbers. So now we're at two thirty four from three hundred and fifty to two thirty four. <laughs> oh, Ben, see this is the greatest. I'm telling you guys, this is how you art outsmart the. Not so smart trolls. This is how you out you, you, by pointing these things like this out. Uh, and uh, so the perfect example on this beautiful, by the way, it was a beautiful Saturday. Wherever you are, you know, they're doing they're doing stupid instead of trying to listen to way we're trying to turn their hearts around. They don't want to care about. It. They just I guess they just want to burn, don't they? Well, well, I mean, uh, you know, they, they are kind of mentally ill. So what have you been doing, Miss? Well, we, we don't care about the trolls. Wait, we're seriously. We, honestly, we don't give an damn about trolls. So what have you been doing, Miss Wilmer? Not much of anything. Just had good days and bad days. My hell. Yeah. So are you having a good day? Uh, half and half. I've got my brain hurt. So her, I hate brain. That's why that she, Miss Wilma has the. She's having a brain day, everybody. Miss Wilma's having a brain day. <laughs> well, you did you just say? Yes. Did you just say your I'm brain hurts? My head hurts. I always say it. My brain hurts. Your brain is hurting. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting Jeez. a sinus infection because my head's been hurting all day. You know what, Miss Wilma? What it is is that's what it is right there. You're drinking too oh, much. You drink too much all. moonshine, no, Miss no, Wilma. No, no. Thank you for subscribing. I do want to ask a question. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Have you ever been in an earthquake? Uh, yes. When you tell when you tell your jokes, the earth shatters every single time, and it shakes every oh, single time because they are so terrible. Have you been in an earthquake? You know what? Honestly, i i have I have felt the earth. Honestly, I have felt a small shake, a tremor. Yes. I I I, I have a couple times. Uh oh. One, I was sitting in the, the living room, kind of moved. It wasn't very much. That also has if me falling off the couch counts. <laughs> yeah, you miss Wilma. You know what? Seriously. Seriously. I'm sorry, everybody. I mean, if, if, if the couch, me falling off the couch, then yeah, I've been through an earthquake. Oh boy, folks! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I tell you what, I don't know what we're gonna do about Miss Wilma. I don't know. I know it does not count, Miss Wilma. No, no, come on, Miss Wilma. You're throwing tomatoes. Yeah, we're gonna throw tomatoes. We're, we're all throwing tomatoes at you right now, Miss Wilma. On that joke. That's right. Throwing tomatoes right at you. 
okay, that was a terrible joke. Why are you laughing? I'm a laughing because the thing is pretty. It gives me so much crap chance that I went through. I've been through an earthquake. All right. Okay. Well, we know <laughs> for a fact that. I didn't. I didn't mean to boo you. I'm just telling you. I. I I'm not trying to boo you. I, this he does crack I, I, herself. I, I, right. I got another one. Oh, please tell us. A, a, a woman yelled at her husband and t said, "You better see. I better see a diamond." So he took her to the baseball game. <laughs> no, 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 folks. <laughs> just do us a favor and don't try to explain <laughs> the jokes. Don't try to explain them. Whatever you would just because we understand that boy, oh, they're bad. <laughs> Thank you. Did did did, mm -hmm. did you know the drummer named his twin? Did did, 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 did you know that what the drummer named his twin daughter? So folks, I'm done. You know, I took a little bit of time to get that one out there. Okay, so what 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 happened? <laughs> yeah, because you're did, okay. Well. Go ahead and finish. Did, did you know what the drummer named his twin daughters? What did the drummer name his twin daughters? And a one and a two. <laughs> Get it, Anna? And a one and a two. Okay, that that uh that joke died just like that donkey. It just went right on down the hill, right down the hill. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they put it. I right, thought uh, of it. You just didn't like it. Did I w yeah, I wonder why I didn't like it. Hmm. Okay, Miss Wilma. I, I, how many apples can you grow on a tree? I have no idea. How many apples can you can you grow on a tree? All of them. Okay, your jokes tonight have gone really just plummeted. I mean, from we went from 350 down to 210. I mean, we're just boom. <laughs> but it is pretty interesting. Oh. Did, did you hear about the poor sailor? The who couldn't learn his alphabet? The poor sailor who couldn't learn his alphabet. Yeah, did you hear about him? No, I didn't hear about him. Tell us about him. He always got stuck at sea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I tell, yeah, we we no, we we definitely get it. We definitely get it. But no. Don't uh, me. I'm not booing. It's the studio audience over here. I have nothing to do with that. I'm sorry, we folks. I'm telling you. I'm, this is a perfect example right there. Perfect example. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're still, yeah, Christopher, we're on TikTok. I'm just putting subscriber chat only because I'm not dealing with the trails because, well, they have no life. So <laughs> we're only dealing with subscriber chat. Uh, okay. Well, they, well, all right, Miss Wilma. You know why cows wear boots? Oh, I, oh, folks. <laughs> This is Ms. Wilma. Thank you, Joe. This is Ms. Wilma. Yeah, yeah let's and Cows don't wear bulls. Okay, let me try that again. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, see the cow. Kind of what? What'd you say? Did you say you got to have a. What? Did you, did you tell me don't have a cow? <laughs> okay. We're losing total control. Total control. Okay. I okay. give up. Do you know why cows wear bells? Why do cows wear bells? Well, I said bulls and bells. I can't read. What? No, I don't even know what that. What is the? Okay, can you tell us what the joke is? What is? You got to set. Okay, what is the joke? Why do Why do cows wear bulls? <laughs> Did you You just said why do cows wear bulls? I, I remember Miss Wilma. I meant to say why do cows wear bulls? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <for that. laughs> Sorry. Horns don't work. 
What? <laughs> Oh, shit. I missed. I completely missed the entire joke. So what? what was the okay, Can you say it again? Why do cow, uh, Why do cows do what? Do you know why cows wear bells? I don't know why cows wear bells. Tell us all about it. Cause their horns don't work. <laughs> all that. All that. All that. All that set up and just boom. <laughs> Do you have any stories for us? Because these jokes are bad. I didn't know they were that bad. <laughs> this is this is what happened. Oh, Seriously, we're, we're, when we're talking on the phone, oh, this is sorry. she just has a good old conversation oh. with herself. I'm telling you. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the story. Oh boy. <laughs> is that right? That's one hell of a story. <laughs> I still think oh, that's that joke. Did you? Oh. <laughs> Two magicians Who? with famous fathers wrote a song, Prime Rose Hill. Their dads are John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, they sure do look like their dads, the Beatles. John Lennon was born 1975. He was five years old and he lost his dad, John Lennon. Mm. They started out going, uh, growing up writing songs. Paul promoted the song on his Facebook. The song has not performed particularly well on spot on Spotify when it earned forty thousand listeners in the five days after its release. Wow. But while no one will mistake in James McCartney for his dad Paul, where uh, they have Sean with a tribute to the father. Very cool. Very cool. Miss Woman, I have, I have a question. They wrote a song, mm -hmm. and it, it, it didn't turn out for after five days. It just went down. Terrible. Miss Woman, I, I have a joke for you. What's that? Why do ducks <clears throat> have feathers? Because they can't fly down? <laughs> no. To cover their butt clacks. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank, thank, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> do, you get, do you get it? To cover the butt quacks. Do you get that? The do you get it? Do you need me to do you need me to explain that one a little? Okay. You need to see the other covering there. Okay. You got another joke for us or, or another story? Uh, another story. <laughs> That's why you have feathers. That is exactly why you have feathers, man. She has a lot of feathers, folks. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hey Wilma. Good hey Wilma. Work. Hey Wilma. Yes. Where does a waitress with only one leg work? Where is one waitress? Where does a where does a wait where does a waitress with one leg work? At the IHOP. <laughs> you got it, IHOP, Wilma. That's it, Wilma. Shame on you. Serious? How I just saw his eye because she's hot, got a hop. She's brilliant, everybody. What? She's brilliant. Ah, pretty good. Man. Wow. I just it because of That's the pretty good. Man. That's pretty good, Miss Wilma. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here all night. <laughs> man, you are you're on fire tonight. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, in New York, a man started playing chess. They set up a table in Times Square. He said setting up a chess uh, center is a very particular way to get involved in a beginning education where they can learn to become thinkers and join them their own potential. Did you say stinkers? Uh, Did you say stinkers? To become thinkers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say they, to become stinkers? <laughs> I think I thought you said stinkers. <laughs> so where do they go to get become stinkers? <laughs> You're gonna have to help me with that one. You have to help me with that one. I I thought you said they they, they go to some place. That's what I thought. So. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Only Wilma. Only <laughs> Wilma, folks. <laughs> so they okay. So they're going into some place to become stinkers. Where is it that? Where is it that? To where are they? Where are they going? Okay. Yeah. To the outhouse? I don't know where 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 are they going? I don't know. Okay. Let me try okay. this again. Here we go. Now we got it. We're ready to go now. Okay. Mm -hmm. A man started playing chess. Uh-huh. And they were trying to become thinkers. Oh, thinkers. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I did say thinkers, but I meant thinkers. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean it is kind of thinkers. And showing them their own potential. He played 50 hours, trying to play 60 hours to break the world record. The longest record was 56 hours and nine minutes. Wow. But he's still trying for 60 hours. That is something. Now, now, you, you like, know, you like chess. I, that we love playing chess. Yeah. So, but it, it wasn't no 50 hours. It's more like two and a half hours, two or three times a day. We both love chess. Wow. And I, of course, I still love it. Now, our friend Steve, when I played with him, he's great. I, I never could beat him. Steve, but Steve was a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine, a friend of mine. Yeah, he, he, he's still a sweetheart. I, he was good. I, I never could beat him. But bless his little heart, he, he was good. Cool. Oh, it's eight thirty. Holy so moly! Gonna, um, Holy moly! Time goes by fast, doesn't I it? I know. Okay, my movie night is a walk to remember. It's on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Uh, a teenager is very mean until he falls in love with a girl. His friends turn on him. They don't like her. Her dad is a preacher. He don't want her to go out with him. She told him, don't fall in love with me. She, that's her little heart. Uh, she's 18, and she goes to a lot. Mm. She loves reading books, and she likes looking through telescopes, looking at the stars. Mm. Now, I don't want to give it away, but he gets in some terrible trouble. Uh -oh. This is a powerful and beautiful movie but yes it's very sad but it's still a beautiful movie uh mandy moore actually won an oscar for this movie she also played T entangled the animated story okay but it, uh to walk to remember so would you would you, but, you would you suggest it would you think it's a good movie yes it's a very yes uh that's what i'm saying it, okay. it's a powerful and beautiful movie but yes it's very sad <clears throat> Uh, but uh, but yeah, it it just really okay. touched my heart. And like wow. I say, it's on Netflix and in uh, Amazon. All right. Well, so, uh, I'm going to cool. jump off of here, and I hope everyone has a great night. And God bless. Thank you, Miss Wilma, for being on. I'll give you a call after I get off there. How's that? Oh, okay. Good night, everyone. Uh, night, Bishop Long. Good night, Miss Wilma. All right, bye bye. Good night. All right, everybody. That was Miss Wilma. We have a we have a good time. We have a good time chatting. Uh, so we appreciate her taking the time and, and speaking with us. Uh, but uh, yeah, see, this is um, <clears throat> as I, I was talking earlier about the uh, the the trolls. Uh, yeah, so we we went from three fifty to one hundred and fifty. See that? Uh, see this is that that's that's how you uh, show uh, the. Uh, that's how you. Let me, let me, let me, for, cause I know a lot of you, I know a lot of you are being trolled online uh, because I, I spoke to several of you today and, uh, people who are, you know, you have a Facebook or you have other social media and they're saying some nasty things. Here's how, here's how you defeat trolls because you make sure that they understand that what they say doesn't affect you at all. It, it really does not affect you because as I mentioned earlier, remember a troll gets really excited knowing that what they are saying or doing to you is affecting you because they're mentally ill. 
And so when you when you show that they are that you are really bothered by what they do, oh, they that they're very narcissistic and sadistic. That actually that feeds them the energy for them to continue to go, continue and continue, because only a mentally ill person would do that. So when you actually show that, you know what, you have no effect on me at all, none, that really it, it gets them. I mean, it really so if you really want to get back at a troll then just say, you know what? I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. It doesn't affect me at all. That, because if you start screaming back at them and yelling back at them, that's exactly what they want you to do. And that's how you do it, guys. That's it. Uh, yeah, cyberbullying. It is It is truly it's terrible. So that's how you ultimately uh, kind of get past it. And because uh, I know a lot of you, I, ta I talked to a couple folks today that were just being trolled terrible. You know, it's a, it's a, to say that given to, oh, I don't care, Daniel. Hey, Daniel, let me, let me introduce you to a, uh, 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 let me introduce you to a thing called block. Bye bye, Felicia. <laughs> that's, like, that's, good. that's all you have to do. See? You're not being very nice to say that about people. Oh, so I'm supposed to say trolls. What you say to me hurts my feelings. Whatever. Um, so it's a block button. It's a beautiful, beautiful button. Oh, by the way, I want to talk. Oh, hello there, Dairy Ireland. And hello to all you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm not a doormat. And neither are you. Neither are you. So don't allow anybody to, uh, to make you feel bad. By the way, everybody... I want to talk about a movie that I saw uh, that was really, really good, but it was, um, you know, it definitely made you think, boy, this is a problem. This is a real problem. And the movie is called Civil War. Civil War. Uh, it just came, of course, it just came out. And it uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, it got 80%, which is pretty good for the reviews. And then uh, for the audience reviews, 75% for 500 plus uh, ratings from the audience score. So uh, the critics, 80%, and the uh, audience, 75%. So for those of you who don't know, uh, from filmmaker Alex Garland comes a journey across a dystopian future America following a team of military embedded journalists as they race against time to reach uh, to reach DC before rebel factions descend upon the White House. I got to tell you something. Uh, what was what was concerning to me was how legitimate and in fact in my opinion how how possible this could uh, occur. That was problematic. And um, I don't have no idea what you're talking about, Joe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the, I don't know what that means, Joe. You'll have to you'll have to explain that one to me, Joe. I don't know what that means, but uh, it, it really is to me. It's uh, it's problematic, and uh, it's it, when you, I don't know if you've seen it. Um. Yeah, we'll talk about the the uh, the Lesser Key of Solomon's in just a second. But if you have not seen Civil War, uh, it is uh, action drama. I will tell you that there are some scenes in there that were, I mean, here, you know what that affected me the most? Uh, well, a lot of things. But in this movie, because uh, with all the, thank you there, Suzanne, with all the, the surround sound and the speakers, the base of the, the weapons that was used, uh, the assault rifles that were used, it really is like, wow, that is, I mean, the sound of it, uh, it was kind of, um, oh, the peekaboo ICU, uh, tell that to one of Miss Miller. I will do that, Joe. I will do that. Thank you for that. Thank you. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'll tell Joe. I'll tell Miss Wilma that, Joe. Uh, Joe was telling me on uh, uh, a joke on so I appreciate that. But yeah, I tell you what, guys, it was the, you know, the bait, the boom, 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 boom. Uh, the, the weapons that they were, it was just, it was troubling. It was very troubling. And when I saw it, I, 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 there, there is so much dissension and anger on both sides of the aisle for Republican and Democrat. And I, I, I am legitimately concerned about this election coming up, uh, the, of this presidential election. I'm concerned about it. 
And I, I'm concerned, uh, not, I'm not talking about who wins. I'm concerned, well, it, it, in a way, I'm concerned about how the response will be. Because there's a lot, there's a lot of anger. There's a lot of bitterness, divisiveness. I, that, that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. So it's a shame. I, I miss the days. I don't know about you guys, but I miss the days where, you know, we could just have a conversation with one another where we, you know, we, we disagree, but it's respectful, right? It, it, we just kind of, we, we have a, we have a disagreement, but you know, I, I don't remember this type of, tell me, maybe you, you, maybe you can correct me, but growing up, I've always been interested in the news and, you know, civics and things. I have never seen it this divisive. I've never seen it so like a powder keg. Have you guys? I just now we're not gonna here. Here's the deal. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to blame because we're not doing that because we're not going to add to it. But I do believe that this is problematic, and uh, I, I am just uh, wow. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's it's concerning. It is concerning. But anyway. I just I, I just wish that we could have a conversation with one another and respectfully and say, you know, I disagree with you. Or I agree with you. But I don't know. It doesn't uh, doesn't seem we can do that anymore. Oh, you're 70. Uh, so mountain lady says I'm 73. Haven't seen this bad either. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for, for those of you on TikTok. Now, folks, I don't know. We just simply do not know if. Uh, if TikTok is going to get banned. I, I, they, they did vote for it. So, uh, I, the, the president that has, has, uh, the option from my understanding to uh, like, um, force, you know, the bite dance to sell, I think they have six months so they could extend that. So I don't know, but if you are on TikTok, you, you need to follow me on my other social medias because it is quite possible that this could be banned. I just, we don't know. We have no clue. So, uh, if you, um, uh, uh, you're, you're welcome, Groovy. So if you if you're not following me on Facebook, you need to do so, or on Twitter or X, whatever they call it. You need or Rumble. Uh, you can uh, follow me over there as well. So you, you need to if you if you want to be a part of this, and you want to stay up to date. Just uh, you know, yeah. If you go to uh, my on on TikTok. If you go to my profile, it has that link tree, which, by the way, I need to update that. Or here's even better. Go to my website, bishopjameslong.com, bishopjameslong, L-O-N-G.com, and you will see where it says social media. That's really the best way to, to follow me. So go down to where it says uh, social media outlets or social media platforms. So there's Rumble, there's Spreaker. Uh, I don't really use Clapper very often. I need to take that down because I just am not going to use it. Uh, TikTok, of course, Facebook and YouTube. So that's, I mean, that's, you just go there. So, um, yeah. Okay. Here's the deal though. The, uh, Const uh, Constanza, uh, I I'm, we're, we're, we're not going to get nasty. I I'm not going to get, I, I don't understand the nastiness. I don't get the nastiness. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, there's a lot of people that, uh, I, I, I don't understand if you have it, if you have a disagreement with someone, then why not just contact the person and say, look, I have a few questions for you and I don't understand what you're doing here. Or I don't know. I don't like this. Or just, this is the way I, this is the way I would want to be treated. This is the way I treat everybody else. So if you, if you just have a disagreement with somebody or it just seems like we, we don't, so many people don't do that. They just go online and start bashing people and attacking people. And I don't understand the hate. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And, you know, I do the best that I can uh, to, to teach people about demonology and angelology uh, and uh, paranormal studies, genealogy. Uh, I am not, obviously I am not a webmaster, uh, but I do the best I can. And for, for those of if someone is asking me about the, uh, uh, the online class that I have, very rarely, if you um, if you follow me, you know that I always say just go to bishopjameslong.com if you really want to and scroll down that we have night prayer. 
I have very rarely do I ever mention the online class. Very rarely. I tell you, go to bishopjameslong.com, scroll all the way down to where it says night prayer, click on the link, and boom, there you go. Or I tell you, go to bishopjameslong.com, scroll down to where it says social media, and if you want to follow me on any of those formats, go ahead and click that. I always very, it is rare, ultra rare that I will ever mention the class. Ultra rare. Uh, I get usually between one to two uh, people a month that signs up for the course. One to two. That's it. Uh, and that's primarily, it's my my fault because I'm not really pushing it that much. Uh, but it's out there for people. And um, I don't know. I just don't understand the hate. It, do, it doesn't make sense to me. And I think people uh, have a misinterpretation that... Uh, First of all, I don't get paid as being we, within the United States Old Catholic Church. We don't get paid as clergy. So we do this ministry 100 percent free. And for two decades, I've been doing this ministry for absolutely free, never charging anyone, never. So I go to people's homes, bless their homes. If I perform an exorcism, it's 31 exorcism. Never, never have I charged one penny. And uh, just recently, just recently, I, you know, I've had, uh, in a, you know, folks say, hey, look, let's help out, you know, to so that I can get to people's location or people's homes. And if uh, you have to get a rental car and you have to obviously get a hotel to get to someone's home, that could be quite expensive. And selling a $49.99 uh, for four classes online and you get one to two a month, that's not going to cover the $1,000 bill that you have to rent a car and get a hotel because sometimes I have to stay three or four days at a location. So I teach online English. And with that money, uh, I have paid now for 15 years. I've never asked. I've never even had an online course until just five years ago because I couldn't, I couldn't keep doing this. I couldn't keep doing it. Sure, if I charge five or $10,000 for an exorcism, I wouldn't need an online course. But even with an online course, even if I get $100 to $200 a month, that, that pays for the, the websites that I have on GoDaddy. Well, I have multiple websites and that, it, that pays for expenses, you know, for the clergy, for my personal expenses. But as far as getting me to a location, 100, 200 bucks is not going to is not going to pay for the thousand dollars that it costs to get to someone's home. No, no, we don't get paid. So th this as clergy with the United States Old Catholic Church, this is a hundred percent free because we don't. Th this is why. Why do, the, the church does not help us because we, we are not a church that is focused on income at all. At all. So we don't, we don't, gen, it is not uh, income generated. It's not a, people say, well, that you should, but no, because that just, I think there are too many churches that are all about the money. And so we just don't do it. We, we don't pay our clergy. Uh, we don't receive funding. Uh, we don't uh, solicit, uh, and so that's just how we—that's how we operate. And so that's it. But a lot of people, a lot of people have, you know, and there's, the, I don't know, one particular person that has decided to go on YouTube and just be really nasty for for just no reason at all, no reason. And had this person just simply contacted me privately, I'd be happy to have explained everything. Uh, answer every question. I'm very transparent, have always been transparent. Uh, and all it would have taken is, why do you do this? And why do you do that? And explain this to me. And I would have been more than happy to answer every single question. But instead, people decide to attack. And I don't understand. I don't understand the hate. It just doesn't make sense to me. But that's just the way we, that's, that's, we have to deal with that, you know? Okay. Yeah. Why do some churches want donations in order to help? Well, I mean, there, there's a lot of churches that, uh, I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with um, if, if someone decides to offer, you know, a, a, a donation every single month to a church community. There's nothing wrong with that. You, certainly tithing, you can... If you wish to tithe to any type of ministry, that's your right to do so. But I don't think a church should ever teach, and I've said this before, uh, any type of preacher that preaches the prosperity gospel, uh, that is 
that is evil. Uh, it is pure evil. Because I, and I've, ta I've talked about this many, many times. Any pastor that tells you that your blessings from God is based on how much money you give that church, that is, that is, that is evil teaching. It's evil doctrine. And uh, I, I reject it firmly. So, I, And we don't do that. We don't participate in that type of prosperity gospel theology uh, because it's all about the money. And so it's just something that we just, we just simply don't. We help everyone. Uh, I, I, matter of fact, I had a, a family that uh, were Muslim in uh, New Jersey. I think that was about 10 years ago. And so uh, we, we just, uh, it's simple. It is very simple. We help everyone. We do not discriminate. I do not attack someone because they're of this faith or that faith or no faith. It just, I just treat people with compassion for the love of God. It just, to me, it's, I don't know. Yeah, but that's just the way it goes. So anyway. Oh, that's wonderful. Francis and Maria, I, I tied in the form of food and general help. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's great. Yep, there's only one. Yeah, see, look, I have, here, here's what people don't know. I have friends, uh, I have a, a couple friends that are, uh, they are Satanist. I have a couple of friends that are Wiccans, that are pagans, that are Muslims, that are Jewish, that are atheists, that are agnostic. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with their theology and they don't agree with mine. And that's okay. Now, if they ask me, hey, look, why do you believe in Christ? I'll talk to them about it. But I'm not going to shove my faith down someone's throat. And I'm not going to be nasty to them and I'm not going to judge them. I'm not going to be hateful to them. And I just wish other people would, would do the same. I don't know. See, when I lay my head down on the, on, on the pillow at night, I want, I always ask myself, did I do or say anything that might've hurt anybody's feelings today? And if I did, I will try to apologize to them because I don't want to live my life that way. Life is, life is already hard enough as it is. Why add more stress to people's lives? I don't understand why people do that. I just don't. So, Okay. Uh, what are you talking about, uh, Monster? Uh, Kansa, that guy YouTube felt like he was robbed because he didn't receive. Uh, no, actually, if uh, that and that's actually not true. Uh, he was actually claiming that he was being certified as a demonologist, and that is not right at all. It's very clear on the website that the class does not certify you as a demonologist, and it does not certify you as an exorcist. It's abundantly clear on the on the website. Uh, it is for people who wish to have education in that field, particular field. And if and and there have been many people who have sent a message to me on Facebook and say, "Do you offer any type of certification?" And I tell them no. And then they ask, "Well, can I have some type of certification of, for completion, saying that I completed the course?" I have no problem with that, and I have. I've done that to several folks. Yep, you've completed the course. Uh, but as far and many times, I've done that. I have no problem creating a certification and saying, yep, the person is completely, uh, I, I, I hereby certify the person has completed all four courses. But I do not uh, ever and have never promulgated that if you complete the program, you're going to be a demonologist or exorcist. That is incorrect. Uh, and furthermore, I have quite often, if someone just send me a message saying, can I have a certificate of completion? Yep, I'll be happy to create that for you. See, this is what I'm talking about. A simple message on Facebook. That's it. See, a, a simple message. So, certified people? No, I don't know anything about the certified certifying people. Well, see, there, I mean, there's a laity demonologist and religious demonologist, and really there is there, there is no certification uh, program that technically certifies someone as a demonologist. There are online uh, courses that claim to even certify exorcists. Uh, that's problematic, in my opinion, uh, because really this is not something that uh, I, I, I separate people who uh, wish to work for the church. Like, for example, if I have a case. 
and it's in New Jersey or if it's uh, in New York or, or if it, whatever, Florida, California, Texas. And I have somebody who uh, has obviously been involved in, uh, in, the, in the paranormal community uh, who has studied demonology, who doesn't think everything is a demon because that's that gets old. Uh, and those people are very important because I can't go to all these places. So then I contact them and I say, look, can you please go out and uh, can you help? And they say, yeah, sure. And again, we don't charge, never have charged. And so they go out to this home, they gather all the evidence, they investigate and they present the evidence to me and we decide to go from there. So really there is no certification as far as well, uh, like an online certification. I will train people to be religious demonologists for the church. Uh, and they consider they certainly know that this is a ministry uh, in which, again, they don't charge. This is a 100 percent free ministry. So this is why I don't understand the hate. I don't understand the online hate. I don't understand the attacks uh, because it, it's so unwarranted and it's unjust. It's unethical. It, it, it's just un completely unwarranted. Yeah. But you know what? Please, please don't do this. Just, just don't. There, there, there's no reason to come in and be disrespectful. Just don't. Uh, it's, I don't know. What are you going to do? Yeah, again, people just... Being, yeah, just people just being... Being nasty. Uh, so let me just... Uh, uh, let me uh, report this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put, I'm just not going to put up with it. And so one second, let me get rid of this person who's just being nasty. And I know where this is coming from. This is, this is coming from that particular individual on YouTube who has decided to go on a unfortunate, ridiculous attack, uh, which is completely un unfortunate. And, uh, but so there. Okay. So I have to remove that person. Anyway. Uh, sorry. Just dealing, just dealing with nonsense. Do you have interest in life too? Yeah, I've always known that. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. I, I agree, Kelly. It, and it is. Uh, because uh, uh, Kelly's uh, is uh, what I was uh, takes years of practice with someone who specializes absolutely, and, and this is a ministry. This is uh, being a demonologist is not something you just wake up one morning and say I want to be a demonologist today. I mean, this truly is a ministry, and when you devote your entire life to this ministry, a, a ministry in which is completely free, no charging at all. Well, I don't work with anyone who charges, so uh, anybody who charges. Five, ten thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand, whatever it is that they're charging. I don't work with those folks. I just don't. So anybody who works uh, with me, if I uh, colleagues of mine, we all we all do this one hundred percent free. And but see again, uh, I don't want to point this out. Again, that's still not good enough for the trolls. They still will attack, even though I do this for, uh, completely for for free, out of my own pocket, pay for everything out of my own pocket, my own time, everything. It's still not good enough. They'll still attack. See, that's it's kind of, um, I, and I've said this before, you can lay flat on the ground and allow people to walk on you so that their feet won't touch the ground and they will still complain because you weren't flat enough. And that just, that's the way some people are. So it can, uh, well, but you know, Francis, Francis, it will shorten your life from everything I've, I've researched. But let me tell you something, Francis and Maria. People ask me about, am I ever scared with what, what scares me? Truly, honest to God, what's frightening to me is the amount of hate that is online. That's frightening to me because I don't understand that. I, I don't, I legitimately don't understand that type of hate. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand how people enjoy inflicting uh, pain, emotional pain, and being nasty. I don't, under, I don't understand that. So, uh, 
Oh, no, no, Joe, I appreciate that. Just keep me in your prayers. That's the most important thing. Uh, the pr prayers is absolutely, I firmly believe in prayer. And so, uh, but I appreciate that. But uh, certainly the, the prayers are, are what's needed most. Yeah. Okay. So if you have any special uh, questions, uh, I'll be more than happy to to entertain them. Uh, but of course, we're, we're dealing, uh, for those of you who don't know what, I'm, what we're dealing with on TikTok, there's, there's an individual who has decided to start attacking me on YouTube for no reason, who has not given me the, even the, the common courtesy of a phone call or a message on, on Facebook, saying, hey, you know, hey, look, I don't like this, or I don't like this, or, you know, it's nothing. And instead, going on YouTube and say, making some really nasty comments that just completely unwarranted and, um, and uh, there were some, and there were some legitimate, uh, and, and actually there were some legitimate feedback or, or criticism actually, uh, that he said, well, I don't like this about the, the, you know, the, 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 the online courses. And I was like, well, you know, there's that I would have actually enjoyed a conversation with this person because I'm not a webmaster and I do the best that I can with a limited time that I have. And. I wish that the individual would have contacted me and say, Hey, look, you know, I took your course and this is what I don't like about it because that would have actually helped because then I could say, yeah, you know what? That's a good point. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. But instead, you know, making it a, a, a direct attack on, on me personally, I, I just, um, yeah, what, you know, what, what are you going to do? So anyway, Okay, so I have a lot. I have some several articles that we can chat about. And that just happened. It, it happens. Mm. Well, Jennifer, you haven't seen. There's there's more. So, yeah, yeah, I, I love, I actually, I, I respect, um, uh, I really do, uh, respect and I appreciate someone, you know, if you're taking a course or something, I really do appreciate people sending me messages. It's, but Facebook is better and saying, Hey, look, you know, have you thought about changing this or changing that? Uh, because to me, that's, I, I don't look at that as negative at all. If someone actually does that. I, I really am very grateful uh, because it gives me the opportunity to fix something or to upgrade something or things that I didn't even think about. And so I, I, I appreciate the, you know, constructive criticism. There's the, there's destructive criticism and there's constructive criticism. And so when someone gives me criticism, but it's constructive to help, uh, I appreciate that. I, I, I don't see that as being mean at all. So, yeah, feedback, feedback is good. Feedback, I, I, I think feedback, but again, again, the difference between destructive criticism and constructive, there's two different things. So when you start attacking the person and their integrity and their motivation and uh, things of this nature, that's not destruct. That's not constructive. That's, that's making a, that's vicious. That's very vicious. So. Okay. I mean, I, I, to the point where if it gets, I'll just close it down. I'll just close the class completely down because I don't need, I, I don't need, uh, I, I appreciate the one that, you know, the two people signing up a month, uh, but I certainly don't need this type of, you know, aggravation. So I'll just, I'll just shut it down completely and be done with it. And, and then someone else can offer a demonology class or and that it makes my life a lot easier. So. Okay. I agree, Jennifer. I agree. No, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't understand. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't understand Patreon, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not very. When it comes to that, I, Francis, I, I, Francis, I'm, I'm not very. Um, I will be honest with you. My skills set are limited when it comes to the computer system, so I, I wouldn't. I can't. I certainly. 
I, I will never ever say that I'm an expert in, in computer or web programming because I'm not. I, I just I do the best I can with the limited knowledge that I have and so and the resources, of course. What do you want to know about the book of Enoch? Well, thank you there, Christian. <laughs> a man of age, a man of age. Uh, we uh, please explain to a little. Uh, I mean, you're, uh, this is the basic foundation of demonology. Same thing with the, the courses, uh, the demonology, angelology, paranormal studies, and genealogy. It, it, you're not going to be a religious demonologist by taking the course. You're not going to be certified as a demonologist. You're certainly not going to be certified as an exorcist. Uh, it's very clear on the website, very very clear that the certification on any of those uh, does not give you or grant you that those titles just because you took an online course to learn a little bit about the subject. So, uh, and it just won't. And, and so I, I would never ever uh, mislead or, or let anybody think that otherwise. So yeah, I, I speak to Zach. Yep, I speak to, amen, there. that's the truth. Uh, by the way, listen to this. I want to shut, uh, I, I'm probably going to shut it down uh, so that, that I'm probably going to be making an announcement soon on that. Um, because I just don't want, I don't want the aggravation anymore. I just don't, I just, I just don't need it. Uh, I mean, when people, you know, go on and start attack, this is not the first time. So I, and I just don't, I don't need the aggravation. You know, I try to do something uh, nice. There are people that charge $800 for one demonology class. And I'm teaching four classes for $49.99, four. And they're very in-depth course, in my opinion. I mean, so, you know, come on. So, but I, I think it's time to, to, uh, to close it down. So my advice for you is do not, uh, do not, uh, uh, do not enroll. So, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it just, I just don't need the stress. I just don't need it. I just don't need it. So congratulations for the trolls. I'm closing it down. So, um, yeah, the lesser key of Solomon is problematic uh, because uh, Solomon had the belief was that Solomon had this ring, uh, that these sigils that can control demons, and uh, for the demons to do his bidding to create all these uh, these temples for. Uh, the wives, the, the many wives he had for the pagan wives that he had, the wives who believe in pagan gods. And so the, the, the argument was that this, these sigils would in fact control these demons. Well, the, I have had people who have gone online, have allegedly found these sigils of demons, used Ouija boards, and then had some pretty violent activity in their homes. And see, that's the thing. That's what, that's what people need to understand. Uh, no, I, my, my decision is fine on that. So uh, people have always asked me about this, um, especially, especially about demonology and possession, because people mock it and they, they, they make it a big joke and say, you know, it's just, it's stupid. It doesn't exist. And, and this is why I always tell people this. I always tell them that I don't charge. I never have charged. I never will charge. And I go to people's homes and I bless their homes and I've performed exorcisms and I have done these things. And if, if I even thought for a second, for even a moment that possession did not exist or demons did not exist, I, I've said this before, I, I would do something else with my time. And I truly would. Because to me, it's, it, it just doesn't make sense. It, it just does not make sense at all to, uh, to do a, a ministry and, and not get paid for that. And it's all make believe. You see, that, that's, the, that's the problem that people don't quite understand. I, people could say, aha, you're doing this for money. You're going to people's homes and you're blessing their homes and you're getting paid a lot of money for it. And then they can question your, your, your intention behind it. And that's fair. But when you've been doing this ministry for over tw two decades now and have never charged one time to go to someone's home and bless their home. And I've been to many, many, many people's homes. 
and never charging one dime. So obviously I know what I've seen. And I've, I've, I can't deny what I've seen. Uh, if, if it didn't exist, I wouldn't be doing this ministry. So I just, one of those things. Um, Oh, absolutely. No problem. There are silly videos, parent. No problem. Uh, okay. Let me just share this with everybody. Uh, this is kind of funny. This is by Ben Hooper. Two vultures were found too drunk to fly in Connecticut. Uh, an animal rescue uh, group in Connecticut said a pair of drunk vultures were treated with fluids and a big breakfast before being released. So a place called Hope said in a Facebook post that a dynamic duo had been dumpster diving and ended up eating something that was fermented enough to cause severe intoxication. The rescue said the vultures were initially thought to be seriously ill, but testing confirmed that they were merely too drunk to fly. Uh, they only needed fluids and to be tucked uh, in overnight and fed a big breakfast the next day, the Post said. And the vultures were released back into the wild and successfully rejoined their colony. So remember your cocktail fruit that ends up in a dumpster can end up intoxicating wildlife if the dumpster is not kept closed, the Post said. Yeah, could you imagine? Could you? But honestly, that's a, that is a really good point. Um, you have a lot of animals, the raccoons, uh, other animals that are that jump in the dumpster to get some food, but we just simply don't know, you know. So it's kind of um, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fermented fruit, right? There's a, there's a tree in Africa where animals uh, go to <laughs> to raid the fermented fruit. Yeah, I believe there's another. Was it uh, bamboo, the uh, koalas? There's some type of leaf or something uh, that they eat. So. Yeah, the, the courses, uh, I, I've, I've deleted the page. So I'm, do I'm, done, I'm done with the courses. I've closed it out. There's no more courses. Courses are in. Courses are finished. There are no more courses, so I'm not offering courses any longer. I'm just not. I just. I, I'm. I'm really dead serious. I'm not. It just is not worth the stress. It's not worth the hate. You do things for. As and there have been many people, many people that I have enrolled for absolutely free because they've contacted me. They said they really wanted to do the course, but they couldn't afford it. And or could they make a payment plan? I said, no, you don't want to make a plan. I'll be more than happy to enroll you for free. But I'm just done. I'm done. I'm, I'm finished. So deleted. They can, you know, that's the way it goes. You, you just seriously, you get to a point where you just have had enough. And so. Okay. Uh, any uh, for showing a crucifixion and that Christ, what now? I don't understand. Uh, behind Vegas lights. I don't understand. No, I, I've deleted it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm finished with it. So it, it, it's over. That's, that's over. for you for showing uh, an emoji the crucifixion of christ that he gave his life i have no idea what you're talking about behind vegas lights you'll have to ex i don't you for showing an emojis the crucifixion of christ that he gave his life for i'm not showing anybody emoji i don't know what you're talking about let me let me what is this no can we unmute him because i'm trying to figure out what he's saying please unmute uh, behind vegas lights On TikTok, please unmute him. Well, I don't think anybody should. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Because I'm trying to figure out what he's trying to say. 
yeah, I don't think anybody, you know, Bishop Mari, I, I don't believe on several of, um, I, I know, I know Judean. I, I don't, I don't agree with uh, anybody being uh, hurt uh, as Bishop Mari was. I don't agree on his, on his views, but uh, several of his views I'm not a big fan of, so. Well, that Vegas lights, I want him to, or her to explain that because I don't understand what they're saying. Um, Oh, well, thank you. Silly videos, parent. That's very sweet of you. That's very nice of you. Oh, see, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why we got to be careful about muting. I, you were trying to show the crucifixion that Christ gave under Nordic. I apologize. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I just couldn't understand what you were, what you were saying. It's so hard. On TikTok, they only give you a certain amount of uh, letterings or whatever whatever it's called. I, And, uh, you know, it, it's uh, so sad that they, they limit you, can't really explain. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, I accept all people. I love all people, and I show compassion to all people. So when you say, are you that priest that accepts LGBT? Uh, I well, Here's what I do. I, I show compassion to every single person that comes to me. I show love to every single person that comes to me because this is exactly what Christ commanded us to do. Uh, I am not here to argue uh, for uh, your political issues or uh, I'm just not interested, not interested. We're not going there. Uh, and so uh, I've taken a vow of celibacy. I have no battle, if you will, in the, or war or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just, I, I, enough of the judgment. I think we've had enough of that. Well, thank you there, Michelle. Yeah, I just, I, I've just kind of grown tired of all the judgment. It just, it's just, it, it, it's, a, it's over. I'm over it. I'm over it. Yeah, you can ask a question. I, I'll try to do the best I can. To, I'm kind of looking here, 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 trying to go back and forth. Uh, how, why do we try? I don't know. I don't know, uh, Father Cad. Okay. Just wanted to say he healed. Oh, I don't understand what the what he healed some of my religious trauma oh as, well that's wonderful i'm glad uh, rat that christ uh healed some of the trauma that you were going through and i believe uh, i absolutely believe that uh you're putting your faith in christ uh, and uh he will help you get through the difficult times i i know i have i know that's helped my faith in christ has helped me through some real difficult times in life so i i definitely understand that thank you billy no, actually, this is a this is a cloth. This is just cloth. But it, it is. I, I saw it and I thought, boy, that's beautiful. Uh, but no, it's it's not an actual stained glass. It's, yeah. Regarding what? When you say re religious deconstruction specifically. Um, yeah, Psalm twenty three. Uh, Melissa, for those of you, I, I love Psalm 23. I think that that would be a, there's, there's a lot of Psalms actually to help with the, you know, the passing of a loved one, but Psalm 23 is, is pretty powerful. Well, when you say Passover, can you explain specifically what? Oh, well, that, that, thank you, Joe. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, thank you there, Marie. Is there a particular, because that's a huge question when you say the Jewish Passover, you, is there a particular question that you're asking about the Passover? Oh, Kathy, oh, they, they were. Well, yeah, well, certainly, well, thank you, and that's great that you, that you did that. Uh, so we, as Bob Barker would say. Well, I don't understand. Well, we we celebrate Sunday. I, I don't I don't understand the question. Uh, 
And hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, can you imagine? This would be terrifying. Um, let me pull this 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 thing up. Ah, oh, this is this article. I, I this would be terrifying. This is by Ben from Ben Hooper as well. Well, because Christ was Christ was resurrected on Sunday. So elephant escapes circus, wanders through a Montana traffic. So an elephant escaped from a traveling circus in Montana and went wandering through traffic. Uh, Silver Bow County Chief Executive J.P. Gallagher said that the female elephant named Viola escaped from the Jordan World Circus on Tuesday and went walking down the middle of Harrison Avenue amid heavy traffic. That, that's terrible. Uh, Sheriff Ed Lester explained that Viola had fled the circus when she was spooked by a passing vehicle. Shocked residents captured photos and videos of Viola's time on the loose. Man. So uh, it says, my coworker pointed out there's an elephant and started jumping up and down, pointing out the window. Civic Center Town Pump uh, co-manager Josh Hennepin told NBC Montana, said we ran to the door and finally caught a video of the elephant coming through the lot here. So Gallagher told the CBS uh, News that the runaway elephant caused minor damage to storage area at the Civic Center, but we, quote, we are grateful that everyone remained unharmed. Uh, but that that just, um, man, that, that could have been, that could have been terrible. So thank God everything, you know, that was good as far as the good news, but boy, that's... Uh, Goodness gracious. Yeah, I, yeah. can you imagine an elephant come right towards you? My goodness gracious, that's crazy. Uh, paranormal stories. Yeah, we, we're going to talk about a few paranormal stories right now. And so, matter of fact, let's... Uh, I, I'm just getting into some uh, paranormal stories for you. Well, let's um, just... Oh, thank you, JMB. Thank you. So, by the way, keep in mind, remember, remember, folks on uh, TikTok, you got to follow me on the other social medias. We just never know what's going to happen with TikTok. Well, legendary. Uh, this is by TK Randall. Uh, legendary uh, director Steven Bilber, Bilberg, Steven Spielberg's next movie will be about UFOs. So the director of Close Encounters of the Third Kind is returning to the genre after several decades. And there are a few movie directors as well known as the highly regarded Steven Spielberg, the man who introduced the world to Indiana Jones, Jaws, and Jurassic Park. And some of his earlier blockbusters also happen to have a distinctly otherworldly vibe. His 1977 movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, for instance, explored themes such as UFOs, aliens, abductions, and formal contact with a benevolent extraterrestrial civilization. Now, this theme of alien beings being friendly would further uh, explored in Spielberg's 1982 movie, E.T., and which followed the story of a young boy who befriends an alien stranded on Earth. For many people who grew up in the 70s and 80s, these movies hold great nostalgia even today. So Spielberg would dabble in aliens uh, again in 2005 when he directed War of the Worlds. You know, I didn't think that was such a bad movie. Uh, now, this time, of course, the aliens were anything but friendly. Uh, so, but anyway, then three years later, Spiel Spielberg directed Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Now, almost 20 years later, it looks like Sp uh, Spielberg intends to revisit the theme of aliens once more with a new movie that report is reportedly about UFOs. Now, while we don't currently know much more uh, about that than, than the topic, the film will be written by David Kep, the director of the original J Jurassic Park. So a lot of people are very excited about it. So there we go. Spielberg is going to jump back into the screen and he is going to be directing a film about UFOs. Yeah, E.T. is coming back. Yeah, you never know. You, we just never know. And you know, Kelly, that's, um, I did a video on that. Kelly says, my Tesla will pick up ghosts. I've seen them many times pulling in my garage. You know, I, I'm seeing quite a few people, uh, especially going through uh, cemeteries, and uh, you know they see this anomaly on their screen, and uh, that's it, there's been a couple even uh, ghost investigators that have these anomalies, 
and then they take out their tools and you know their digital recorders or or even you know, uh, several devices that they use and apparently these devices are going off or they're capturing evps where they see these anomalies on their screen so this it's pretty interesting it is wild it's it's uh you know, and you can say, for example, if you're going down the street and you see this anomaly, you can say, well, it's a, it's a glitch in the system. OK, but see, there, there are investigators who actually have these Teslas who who go to, for example, a cemetery and they see this anomaly and they get out and they start investigating and they're capturing EVPs. EVP stands for electronic voice phenomenon and they're, they're capturing something. So it's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you know what, Sandy? Here's what I can here, let me let me just introduce you to this uh, block. Go away. Another troll. Another. It's a matter. You know what? I'm just not in the mood. There. Sub chat only for the rest of the night. I'm done. So anyway. Sorry guys, uh, but I'm I'm just uh, if you're on TikTok or oh, the sub chat only is on. So uh, I, I'm not. I'm just fed up with them. So, yeah, it, 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 it's a shame because what happens when I do that, then I get a lot of hate messages. So I'll be flooded today with a bunch of uh, your fake bishop and all this other stuff because I have sub chat only. So whatever, whatever. Um, so anyway. Yeah, I agree. It's stupid. It's getting dumb. It's getting stupid. Oh, you did a story as a kid how ET came to visit. Oh, that's cool. It is. It is, Marty. It is. Uh, the, we, the legions. I agree, Judy Ann. Thank you. Yeah, it just, I, I'm, I'm just getting to a point where uh, I, I really am getting close to just for now on, sub, sub, you know, subscriber chat only on TikTok because I've just, uh, just, Every time I turn it off, every single time, uh, then the hate comes in. And I'm just not, you know, I'm just sick of it. So I, I'm, I'm really honest to God, I'm close to just walking away from TikTok, period. Uh, and because it's just constant, ne the negativity is cancerous. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not giving up, folks. I'm not giving up. I'll still be on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Rumble, Spreaker. Uh, but uh, we may keep in mind, folks, you have to remember that we may not have a choice with TikTok. Uh, because uh, the politicians are really serious about pushing this ban. So this might be... Uh, no, no, no. I, I, what I'm doing is I'm telling people they need to kind of be prepared. So uh, it is quite in, it is quite possible that. Uh, and by the way, uh, ByteDance has made it very, very clear. The owner of the the owner of TikTok they've made it very clear they are not selling. They said that's not even that's not even an option. So uh, I'm I'm just letting you guys know now. Uh, you need to make sure you follow me on these other formats because it is very possible that TikTok is going away. So, you know, you just have to, uh, and I disagree with what they're doing. I, I think just leave people alone. People, if, if you want a platform, if you want to use a, if you want to use a, a social medium, we're all adults here. We're not kids. You know, we, I, we don't need Big Brother telling us what what app to use and what not. We are all adults, so we know that we know the story. Uh, but uh, regardless, if you think it's doing for political reasons or not, I'm just saying, you know, enough, enough, enough. We're 160 million people are using TikTok. If they don't want to use it, don't use it. Uh, it just it, it's constant. Uh, this barrage of Big Brother nonsense is just ridiculous. Thank you. So. Um, uh, it is uh, 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 frankincense and myrrh, Sheena. Uh, I actually have a uh, a friend that makes that. Someone's asking about the oil that I bless the items with, uh, and so uh, it's uh, frankincense and myrrh. But she she does a beautiful job. I mean, the smell, the aroma is um unbelievable. It is it's absolutely amazing. So that's what I'm saying. TikTok, you you need to make sure. 
you, those of you on TikTok, you got to follow me on these other medias, on these social medias. I, we just don't know. Uh, personally, I feel, this is my gut feeling. I think it would be, this is a presidential election year. And I would be truly stunned. And I mean shocked. If they, uh, if they actually banned it. I would be stunned because 160, 160 million uh, people, a million Americans. I mean, they, they, they use TikTok. There's a lot of people uh, who actually have small businesses on TikTok. There's a lot of great communities that they built on TikTok and uh, politicians don't seem to be, uh, I don't understand 160 million Americans. You don't want to make them mad because <laughs> they do vote. A lot of people vote. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it really does smell wonderful. It does. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up tonight um, because it's just, I have got to do several, several, I've got to take care of a few other things that I have to do before uh, we uh, close shop. So, um, uh, tomorrow we're going to be here at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern for Bible study and for TikTok subscriber chat only. That's the way it's going to be, subscriber chat only, and uh, and then of course uh, we'll see from eight o'clock. Usually we're here to about ten or ten thirty, depending, and we're going to continue our Revelation study. Narc oh, I don't like nar narcissism. Period. Narcissism is a mental illness. So. Uh, Night prayer is Monday through Friday. Uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, no, no. Yeah, uh, we have a um, night prayer Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern. So that's our night prayer. So, yeah, but we're here at, at 8 o'clock tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Bible study tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, by the way, by the way, thank you for reminding me. Uh, tomorrow also, if you want to pray the rosary, uh, we're going to be, uh, Father Bill is going to be praying the rosary online, but it will be on our, our USOCC private uh, parish page. So if you would like to join, and that's at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right before our Bible study. So what you need to do is go to USOCC.org, USOCC.org, O-R-G. Uh, yeah, Nora, I... It's, it's narcissism is a mental illness. Uh, so USOCC.org and you'll see where it says to become a prisoner of the USOCC, please uh, visit our group page. If you click that, it takes you to the page and all you got to do is just request and then you can participate. Uh, so it's at 730 PM Eastern standard time. Uh, well, we talked a little bit about the paranormal tonight, uh, but really, honestly, the, the I'm just uh, I, I've been on since eight, and I think that's enough. So, uh, seven thirty p.m. tomorrow for our uh, rosary, and then at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here, we will be for Bible study, and that's how we'll do it. Fair enough. For those of you on Spreaker, I'm going to say good night to you guys. And uh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And for, oh, yeah, 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 I've got to make some phone calls before we wrap everything up for the evening and rock and roll there. So, so how do they fool the church? How does who fool the church? Narcissist, narcissist have no business. A person who's a narcissist, I've already said, is a mental illness. Uh, narcissism has no, has no room, uh, has no room in, in the, uh, uh, in the church. And certainly, now, people who are narcissistic, especially about their beliefs, this idea that you have to believe uh, that you have to be a part of the club or this club or that club or this club. It's like, just stop. There's no denominations in heaven. And uh, so I've already answered it. And I, I don't believe that narcissism is healthy. Uh, it's narcissism is very sick. It's a mental illness. And I don't support, obviously, narcissism, religious narcissism or narcissism in general. <sighs> okay. So anyway, uh, I tell you all the time, your value does not decrease based on someone's inability or refusal to see your worth, trolls. 
you're priceless, and don't let anybody tell you or convince you otherwise. So Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow night. Bye-bye. Thank you.